House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan sent letters uh, just yesterday to two former Manhattan DA office attorneys seeking information that could support a claim a District Attorney Alvin Bragg's prosecution of former President Donald J. Trump is politically motivated. The attorneys sought to prosecute Trump back in 2022, but Bragg rejected their legal theories. Then they resigned. Since then, Trump announced his candidacy for the 2024 presidential election, and Bragg has changed his decision on prosecuting the former president. Jordan has contended Bragg's sudden change of heart was tied to the announcement and has criticized what he describes as an unprecedented abuse of authority. Bragg's office is investigating whether Trump was involved in paying hush money to Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign. The DA's office informed the court that the grand jury, who potentially could deliver an indictment, would convene again at 12 p.m. Thursday, a source with the court told Fox News. It was not clear if the grand jury would hear another witness or vote on a possible indictment today. The indictment comes after years of the district attorney's office aggressively pursuing charges with you and other special prosecutors leading the investigation into every facet of President Trump's finances. Last year, you resigned from the office over Bragg's initial reluctance to move forward with charges in 2022. Bragg is now attempting to shoehorn the same case with identical facts into a new prosecution, Jim Jordan wrote. He added, based on your unique role in this matter, we request your cooperation with our oversight of this politically motivated decision. In the letters, Jordan requests all documents and communication between the Manhattan DA's office and the Department of Justice regarding the Trump investigation. He also requests all such documents and communication communications between the Manhattan DA's office and the former attorneys there for that office. Jordan is also seeking all documents between the two officials in the Manhattan DA's office regarding their appointments as special assistant district attorneys. Jordan also sought to poke holes into the potential indictment, saying Trump's former attorney Michael Cohen could not fairly be considered an unbiased and credible witness. In addition, Bragg star witness Michael Cohen, he writes, has a serious credibility problem as a convicted perjurer and serial fabricator with de demonstrable a prejudice against President Trump, the lawmaker wrote. In 2018, Cohen pleaded guilty to multiple crimes, which included paying hush money in an attempt to influence the election, lying, and campaign finance violations. The Ohio legislator concluded that the totality of these facts is that Bragg's impending indictment is motivated by political calculations. The facts of this matter have not changed since 2018, and no new witnesses have emerged. The Justice Department examined the facts in 2019 and opted not to pursue further prosecutions at that time. Jordan's dual letters come just days after Trump announced that he would be arrested in New York on Saturday and, and urged his supporters to protest. No arrest was made and only a small group of people showed up outside of his Trump Tower. So obviously a very uh, fluid situation that continues on in this investigation and possible indictment. But what will we see in the coming days that is where you will have to stay tuned right here on live now from fox as we will continue continue to break it all down